Greetings and salutations. This is Hobbity Hobbity, and today we are here with Scooby-Doo in the Creepy Castle. This is my third start on doing this video, because one time the screen recorder wasn't working properly, and the other time my mic wasn't working, so if I seem a bit disillusioned, that why. Happy Easter, by the way. Here's Bunny. I have lots of stuffed animals and crap. Okay, let's get started. Zoinks! I think a ghost has trapped the gang inside the creepy castle! You go check it out and I'll stay here to guard the van. Good luck, Scoob. Okay, so like you have three tries to, try to find the gang, and then this elephanty looking thing is this fright factor meter, and Scooby snacks for some reason keep it low, even though it's more of like a moral support thing for Scooby in the cartoons. And then Scooby Doo can pick up freaking gigantic objects and put them in his inventory to scare the evil ghost king away that he never actually sees when he's doing the thing. Because there's like this evil ghost king that keeps trying to scare Scooby for some reason. Like, I don't know why. I don't know why you'd want to scare him. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Okay. Music is so swaggy in this game. This game is not Spooky's House of Jump Scares. I should not be getting freaked out at this. Scooby Doo's getting freaked out at this. Scooby Doo would absolutely die if you tried to play something like Spooky's House of Jump Scares. I can't play scary games. I was thinking of playing an RPG horror next. That should be pretty exciting. I don't know whether I will or not. Well, I kind of have an idea of which one I want to play first. I want to play The Witch's House because that's one of the, the other RPG horrors I've downloaded on my computer. I've seen playthroughs of before. Um, the one on uh, Mad Father, I haven't seen the ending for yet, but um, I pretty much know how it goes. And me, so I've seen the entire plot of the game, so I, I don't want to play that anytime soon. That guy was not the Ghost King, but you know. Stuff like that. I just want to, like, you know, try some new stuff instead of just playing Flash games on the internet like this, but, you know. Hey, that didn't work the first time I did it in my last playthrough that you guys didn't see because my stupid mic audio wasn't working. Then, you know, burning his crown for some reason hurts him and he goes out and runs away. This guy is, like, magic. T <laughs> ah! Okay, I wasn't sure how to stop him. This ghost is weird. I mean, obviously in Scooby-Doo, it's like mainly people are playing as ghosts, but, or, you know, pretending to be ghosts in order to, like, scare people away or whatever. But, that was concerning. Oh, could have put the freaking rug on it. Oh, well. I didn't see it. I thought it was just a weird thing on the floor. But, you know, as I was saying, normally the, um,. There are people playing as ghosts, but this guy is appearing in different places so many times that it seems like completely illogical that it would be a actual it's person. It seems like it would have to be a ghost. Oh man, look at that picture. Daphne looks so weirdly drawn for some reason. I mean, this is obviously like a what's new Scooby Doo kind of thing. And like I like what's new Scooby Doo, but I also like the old ones a, a more, I'd say. I mean I like I like both of them. I don't really like a lot of the other incarnations. Okay, anyways. You saved me, Scooby, but Fred and Velma are still in there. Hurry before it's too late. I'm at least glad the music and setting change in this game. At least whoever developed this Flash game is at least somewhat creative. <laughs> that Ghost King makes me... I'm surprised this strange Ghost King, if he's a person, isn't dead yet. Because I've heard him and bashed him in the head so many times. Like, I think he would, like, be passed out or something. So, like... Obviously, he must be a real ghost, but if he's not a real ghost, I don't know why he would even be trying to stop Scooby in the first place. That is loud. I keep forgetting I need to turn down my headphone audio. Just... Oh, shoot, shoot. Oh, I thought I needed that for that. Okay, never mind. Obviously, he was in there because, you know, suspicious barrels are obviously no good. Obviously, there's someone in here because otherwise, why would it be open? Ah, uh, it looks painful. I'm trying to keep the content of this channel at least somewhat decent, but it's kind of hard to do because I'm new at the YouTube game and I'm not myself. I myself am not really that socially inept, sir. Adept, excuse me. <laughs> I myself am pretty socially inept and I'm not that adept. But, you know, I want to do this because it's a lot of fun. And, like, in the future, I want to go into, like, game design and, like, game creation, mainly programming of games. 
but I thought I was afraid from him. But, you know, and I felt like this would be a good outlet for you, you know? And like, you know, I've grown quite interested in certain gamers on YouTube lately. And I decided, hey, why not actually try things and stuff? Quit being all freaked out, Scooby. Yes, I got Velma. These weird clip art stilts are very weirdly drawn. Like, look at her hands. It's like cartoon. Do hands really look like that? Mm, I don't want to be staring at my hands this entire video. Scooby's chest, though. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's keep going. This is one of those games I actually remember to turn my mouse on for once. Yay. I should not be jamming this much to this. Oh well. Oh yeah, this is where it gets hard because Fred's the last person. I've never actually beat this entire game. It's really, really sad. I always end up dying like on this level, so like we'll see if I can actually beat it this time. I haven't lost any lives so far, which is a rarity for me. Because a lot of times I usually end up losing them in like the first level. But since there's only like three levels in this game, I'm assuming it should be relatively easy. Ugh, I didn't even see him! I'm just loud. That would definitely hurt somebody. This guy has received so many concussions, I'm surprised he's not, like, dead or passed out or something yet. Honestly. <whistles> yeah, and that's a thing. I commented on that several times when I had my false starts on these recording, but whatever. Oh, shoot. You gotta be, like, quick about this, because Scooby, I think, is actually increasing his speed as time goes on. So you need to be cautious about your movements. Yeah, see, here we go. Because, you know, if you move that block, if you move the block too early, uh, I don't know how to stop that guy. Oh, it's a barrel. Freaking barrels. Great, now I'm starting to sound like PewDiePie or something. I don't actually watch PewDiePie, but the only thing I know is that he hates barrels. Uh, you know, something like that. I don't know. I watch YouTubers other than PewDiePie, um, but you know, nonetheless. What? 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 Wait! 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 Wait a second! Where's my other thing? Are you kidding me right now? Did I seriously just use it on that other thing? How does that guy even fit into that little cannon? What is it? Is that a motor thing? Look, like, that's gotta be what it is. Give me some Scooby snacks. I'm running low on my Frito meter or whatever. Frick, frick, frick. How the heck was I supposed to stop that? No. Aha! Aha! Nope, you're not falling down there, Scoob. Scoobster. Uh. Ah! Okay. I, I got. I died there at some point in the past, so. Hey, Fred, Fred? Yes! Got Fred! I think. Is this the end? Where'd it go, Scooby? Rescue me and he captured the ghost. The king's ghost? Well, unmask him. Who is he? What? What is your face, Scooby? What is your face, Fred? Weird. Yay! Scooby saves the day! Thanks for helping solve the mystery of the creepy castle. Oh yeah, didn't lose it. Wait. Did I lose any lives? No, didn't lose any lives! Too bro! Too pro for this game. Too pro for this game and for small children like myself. <laughs> no, I'm actually not a small child. Don't even don't even think that for a second. Um, anyways. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, this was fun for me because this is a game for my youth. Um, if you want to see more of this sort of thing, go ahead and 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 like the like button. <laughs> Go ahead and press the like button. Just tap it lightly. It doesn't like to be punched or hit. Um, lots of YouTubers seem to think that that's the best way to do it, but mm, actually that's false. Um, and you know, if you really enjoyed this, go ahead and subscribe because I do lots of this sort of thing, right? Right, Sorbet? Right? Uh huh, yes. And actually, this is one of the first times I've actually gamed with a stuffed animal on my lap. It's actually rather comforting. He might stay here for the next few videos I'm recording because I'm gonna do a binge recording session, presuming if time permits. Well, anyways, I was gonna end this ages ago. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. There's plenty of other Flash games, um, and I'll see you in whatever comes next. Bye. Nope. Nope. Nope.
Did you see that? I saw it. I saw it. Oh, oh man. Holy frick. I'm dead. Gotta make sure I press the right buttons. Come on. I like how we just 